Hey everybody, this is X Dr. Mario Master X here. Welcome to my let's play of Ocarina of Time. We just did a jump attack on this Wolfos. They slashed us, but we killed them anyway. So, last time we uh, finished the bigger on side quest, and now we are actually going to finish the forest temp or do the forest temple. So I decided to do um to do one long ass video of this temple. And you'll see why here. And let's kill the Skulltula first. Let's do that. So so to tell you the truth, guys, I kind of actually flubbed up on this uh, temple a little bit, or quite a bit anyway, aside from the boss fight, which I'll explain that later. Well, to tell you the truth, I actually uh, kind of messed up on this temple, so I'll probably cut some of this out to save you the trouble, because I had a... Uh, I had uh, trouble with one or two parts of this temple. And let's see the Pole Sisters first. So I think we ought to do that. There's the Pole Sisters. And I see Meg there. Not to be confused with Meg from Family Guy. Anyway, what am I doing? So anyway, so what I'm going to do, oh, I am brain farting this already, I I'm brain farting, just tired, let's kill the Skulltula, real quick, so we're going to squish the bug, St. Starship Troopers, So I kind of flubbed up on this temple here, and I had trouble on uh, one or two parts of the temple where I did all that backtracking. So I'm going to edit that out just to save you the trouble for you guys. Yeah, that's right, Blue Bubble. I'll explain it on the way a little later on, but trust me. Anyway, we got two stealth up here. Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, man. Yeah, you keep jumping. These are not the Stalfos that regenerate. But that's on the next floor up. Oh, yeah, he's dead. That was easy. I made that look easy. So... So, I think we got a small key. Now, this part of the temple coming up, I made a huge mistake. I'm not going through that door. Oh, we'll get a fairy. That'll hear us. That'll uh, heal us. Full health. Yeah, just stun these guys. The Gun, stun these blue bubbles with the Deku Nuts. And they're pretty much boned. Well, we're boned. Anyway. Well, I hate to say this. I'll just play this song of time on this uh, time block. This is kind of a... Uh, this video might be uh, actually controversial. So the biggest mistake I made in this temple, I should have gone through that door in, uh, in the room above, above me. We fought the blue bubble, bubble to get the dungeon map. I made a huge mistake not going through that uh, door. Yeah, I actually made a huge mistake. 
not going through that door. I don't know what was going over there for. Trying to fight a Skulltula. Anyway, next room coming up. I actually made a mistake not to... Uh, getting that key here. So, I kind of actually messed up on my part. Room where I got the dungeon map. Well, I didn't go through the door here. This is the room right here where I forgot to go through this door. And this was the biggest mistake I've made in this puzzle. Now here we go, I actually got the dungeon map. Or the compass of this temple, we'll see. Link wearing his red tunic. So I got the dungeon map, right? So I went to... So I went to this room, right? Well, as it turns out, it goes to the other side. So, what did I do? What did I do? I just couldn't find that key, and I didn't know where it was at. I was looking all over for that key. As it turns out, I actually missed the third key in this temple. And would this Deku Baba stop chomping my ass? Thank you. Anyway, so as it turns out, I actually made a big mistake. Of, um, missing that room the other key was so somewhere along the line I made a big mistake and I didn't have enough keys so yeah I just go to this room take out the sculptula take out the big sculptula and well, took out the spider. Call an exterminator. Take him out. So we got that done and over with. So what I'm wanting to do. Uh so this is gonna be one long video. Trust me. I might have to cliffhang this. I don't know, but I did get lost in this temple. Got lost quite a bit. Now, if you see me brain farting, I'm actually kind of tired, so... So that actually happens. I don't know where this video is going to stop here. Probably right here. So yeah, I was just uh, looking through this room here. And it's easy to get lost in the forest temple. So you just, uh... Yeah, you just push these blocks in this temple. I could have pushed that other block. Oh, well... Wow. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do? Yeah, I was supposed to climb this block here. I was supposed to go this way. Trust me, I, I cannot believe I just flubbed this temple up. And you'll see why here in a minute. So, I just uh, pushed this block here. And we can go through here. We have to do another uh, block moving puzzle here. So, so we had to um, 
Oh god, I cannot speak. I'm too tired. So I just want I just actually pushed this block here. Uh I was just uh doing I was talking about something. Yeah. This is the part of the temple where I got so confused. So you have to do this kind of block pushing and all that. All of the backtracking. And I can see why some people don't like backtracking. I mean, at least you have the song and soaring in, uh, in Majora's Mask where you can, uh, use that as Ferrari's when to go back to the entrance of the temple. So we just push these blocks to make these as platforms. And right here, right here was the biggest mistake that I made, aside from uh, using Ferrari's wind, which is helpful, which is a really, really helpful, uh, useful item in, this dun in these dungeons. So what I forgot to do, I forgot to go get that other key. That's right, I forgot to go get that other key. Aside from using the Ferrari's wind. Well. So, as it turns out. You know, you're gonna see why here in a minute. This corridor is all twisted. Yeah, no shit. Oh, and yeah, by the way, you have to watch out for wall masters in this temple. If they grab you, they'll take you back to the beginning and they'll do a heart of damage. Right here is where I completely messed up. I forgot to get that small key in that one room. And I had to do... So much backtracking on this. It's not even funny. It's probably where I would cut it right here. Yeah, this is where I cut it in this, uh, to this room here. And I was, uh, I put the Zora tunic on for no reason. I don't know why, but I did. I would wear it at the water temple. Now, for some odd reason, I think I was supposed to go down here. I don't know, I just, uh... Yeah, I just got lost in that, in this temple. Uh, I mean, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. I just really didn't know what to do, because I got lost. I was like, oh my god. Now, I killed another Skulltula here. I did manage to kill another Skulltula. And that treasure chest over here, I believe I had a recovery card. Although, I could be wrong about that. Look at this Akarok spitting his nuts at, out at my ass. So I actually killed another Skulltula here. Oh man! I was on the ledge. It's too close to the ledge. It didn't make that. Kinda did, but still. So I hookshot to this treasure chest. And I believe... Yeah, I, I was right. It was a recovery heart. Here, I actually kill another Skulltula here. And he's dead. 
dead like Fred. So, I actually got lost in this temple. And I actually messed around in this room for about two or three minutes. Trying to... Well, I was trying to play the Song of Time and the Ocarina of Time to make those platforms, but nothing worked. And I don't know what the heck I was doing trying to get back up here. So, I might... I might just make this one super long video. I was just messing around in this room. Here's this funny animation here. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. Okay. This is the part of the game where I was doing much better here. And I hate to say this, but what I did, and this is quite very controversial, and I actually, actually used a cheat code for the uh, infinite keys in the dungeons in this game, so I am terribly sorry, but let's fight a mini boss. Now don't fall into that platform in the lower level here, cause you'll fall to the, you'll fall to a floor down below and you won't get up from that. And the Stalfos is dead. But this is the room where these two Stalf Stalfos will regenerate if you take too long. Oh yeah, come on, keep jump, keep doing your jump attack. Man, I just can't hit him. Keep hitting the shield, man. Yeah, you see that slowdown in this game. Yeah, do, do the jump attack. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. However, those two stealthers are dead. Surprised the game didn't froze. So what do we get? What do we get? Come the Papa. Yeah, that's right. Sure enough, we got the fairy bow. Not only that, we got 30 arrows. Yeah. I I am so sorry you guys, but I actually used the cheat code for the infinite small keys cheat in this game in Ocarina of Time Project 64 so I am so terribly sorry but I cannot believe it I just did that oh well well I I can't believe that I just did that flood this temple up thinking about starting it over but first things for but, enough about that, let's just see, shoot these, uh, pitchers here, with the Poe here, and, uh, let's do this. Now, always have your shield up. Okay, when she, uh, when she, uh, reappears like that, do a jump attack on her, or do any attack on her. Yeah, that's two. Come on, baby. Bring your torch up. Bring that torch up, man. That's one. Cause I, I think we get the compass here. I just uh, could not find that small key anywhere in this temple. And that's still bugging me to this day. I wish I could start the temple over. I really do. I guess this is, um... Call this forced temple, uh... Stupidity, I suppose. You know, I actually backtrack on this. You know, I really didn't... Oh, wait a minute. This is not the room. Okay, the second pole here. Shoot these pitchers just like before. 
we're going to take on the second Poe. So, yeah. Wish I didn't do that much backtracking in this temple. So. Come on in and peel her. Yeah. Do a jump attack on her, or you could do a, a stabbing attack on these Poes. Don't get hit by their torch or they're gonna damage you. Oh yeah, watch out. That's number two. That is number two. Looks like we get another small treasure here. And believe it or not, this had a small key. Yes, I did save the game. And I cannot believe that I've done this. Brian, why did you have to use that cheat code? This is just the uh, Forest Temple stupidity right here. But that's life, that's what they all say. And I don't want to sing, because I really don't want to, because I'm tired. I'm too tired. More like Link is tired. So yeah, I had to do more backtracking. I had to do a little more backtracking here, so... I really don't know when this video will stop here. However, I'm gonna untwist the room here. I could have used Ferrari's wind, but I didn't feel like it. So we actually get the boss key. And I kind of wish that I, um, I kind of did this, uh, did this sooner, but it didn't have the arrows. Oh, man. Alright, just hit him with the deck in that. Get out of here, you blue bubble. So... Maybe I didn't. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. Uh, it didn't cheat code after all. Oh yeah, I actually missed the gold sculpture here too. He, I mean, he was right here at it. I was right there at it, man. It's crazy. Oh yeah, he got these guys. He got these floor masters. Bad enough that we have wall masters in this temple. Okay, when those floor masters turn green, don't don't let them uh, hit you, especially when they split. When the floor masters split into three little ones. Don't let them grab you, or they'll uh, actually regrow. Just to let you know. Anyway, there's another, uh, and I mean another small key. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. So... I don't know when this video will probably stop, but uh, I think it will be coming in the next room here. Yeah, I'll return to uh, the warp point. So I'll probably be editing editing this video a lot. This is this is the part of the temple that I did a little better on here. So...
I'm just keeping an uh, eye on the clock here. So I'm just doing commentary here. I am really tired right now. Well, looks like mistakes can be made. One day I'll start this temple over. Probably should uh, should have read the walkthrough first. I probably should have done that. So, I'll actually see you in the next part of the video here in a little bit. So, hang on. Hang in there. Alrighty, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, we are still doing the forest temple. And I just wanted to cut to this part of the temple because I didn't want to show you all that backtracking. I told you I was going to edit more of this out, and I am. So, I believe... So, I believe that I missed the one key here that I forgot to do. Well, you can't open that. Hey, Link, you can't open that. Treasure chest in the water in this game. This isn't Majora's Mask. Man, look at all the fog in this room. So anyway, I believe the biggest mistake that I made... Not this room, but... It was this room over here. In this temple... That I forgot... Forgot that switch in that one room. That other side of this temple. Will you stop chomping on my ass? Thank you. Get out of here. Get these Walchillas out of here. Yeah, you can shoot these guys with the arrows, too. Usually, I'll get the arrows. And then, I don't know why I fell down there. But, you can actually kill those Walchillas with the arrows as well. And this. Usually I don't actually have trouble with this temple or start brain farting in this temple, but turns out I did. I went through this door here. This is the room that I actually missed. Yeah, this was the room that I actually missed. Because believe it or not, there was a hookshot target, and silly me. I forgot this was even there. Well, that's what you get for not playing it, playing this game for a long time. That's what I get for not playing this game for a long time. So, so here I am going to jump. So you can't get down from there, so... Man, you stop chomping my ass. Seriously. I don't know where the video is going to stop at, but... If it does, I'll meet you at the... Uh, I'll meet you at the Poe room. I'll meet you at one of the Poe rooms in this uh, temple. And there it is. That's the small key I missed. I cannot believe that I just missed that key. That was the key that I missed. Turns out there was a red switch in this temple. Um... I don't know... Where am I gonna stop at, but... I'll meet you at that one room. One of the po rooms here, so hang in there. Alrighty, you guys. We are actually, um... We're actually in the Poe rooms here. So... So, what I actually kind of forgot to do... There was a locked key in this, uh... In this temple here. The... 
It was right. Right by the swimmer chair. We see other twisted hallway. Since I actually missed that key, well, this wouldn't matter anyway. What's the detail on that? There is a lot door here. Now, if I had more keys in either one of the doors, um, I would have done a little better, and I don't know uh, why. I don't know why that I uh, do that. Went in and out the door. Ah, uh, it's just using Ferraris when just better to be safe than sorry. So that the uh, wallmaster will grab grab my ass. Sound like Porky Pig all of a sudden. So this is the part where I actually did actually did a little better in this temple. See, they put a lot of locked keys in this temple. I don't know why. It's because I haven't played this in a while. So, yeah, I got that on the first shot right there. Get that with a fire arrow. That's gonna twist the hallway, believe it or not. Now watch out for these green bubbles here. So... Yep. I'm glad I cut a lot of this out, because I did not want to show that failure, all the backtracking. Yeah, this is the part where I actually did much better. So, dispel the warp point. That's what I would do. So, we're going to equip our arrows here. And, well, Brian, watch out. The ceiling is falling down. Like Living on the Edge by Aerosmith. So don't let the ceiling fall down on you. Otherwise, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Just uh, take out these uh, sculptulas. Just take out these sculptulas one by one. With the arrows and you'll be fine. Got a bundle of arrows. So, this third, in order for this third Poe to appear, you're gonna have to do a little block puzzle. Shoot the uh, pitch, shoot the picture of the third Poe here, and well, we're just gonna have to push this block. Oh man, I know, Link, I know. Yeah, this is very, very tedious. It has to be done. What has to be done? This is the part of the temple I actually did much better on here. But aside from using that the cheat code, well, other than that, we're not. We didn't do too bad in this temple so far. I'll just wait till they see the boss fight. Now, if you actually fail this, though, you have to start the puzzle over and we'll give you 10 more seconds. So. so, here is our third Poe. One with the green fire. So apparently, three jump attacks with the master sword, and you're done. 
Unless you want to use the big Goron sword, you can take him out with either well, one or two hits. But that's risky. Taking that much damage. We're gonna actually face the last Poe. The last of the last. Meg. The purple Poe. Purple Predator. One eyed, one horn, flying purple people eater. So this uh this mini boss is really easy. Watch for one of them to uh spin their heads. Yeah, like that one right there. Watch for one of the the real Poe named Meg spins her head. That tells you that is the real uh, Poe there. The other three will be fake. So I might meet you on this uh, other next part of this uh, temple right now. And the door opens. The door opens. And we're about to go to this room to the boss. So, hang in there. So here we are now. And this is post commentary, by the way. Not only are we gonna be done with this uh, temple. We're going to be done with the, uh, feeding the boss here as well. Which, I can't tell you who it is. Because I don't want you to, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I really don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. Uh, this video has probably gone over, uh, to almost 40 minutes here. It's probably going to be a 40 minute video. I like how that, uh, I like how that switch has been, is, uh, you know, it's tilted diagonally. It's like it's in a diamond shape. Yeah, that's locked, so we're, we're gonna have to keep finding the, uh, keep pushing this room, keep pushing the column in this room, till you find the other switch. May have to kill a Skulltula. This is another room that's probably pretty tedious. But, you gotta do it. Yeah, that's the room. Yep, this is the room right here. Call this the merry-go-round room. And, wait till you see that I've, uh, actually, uh, pawned the boss here in this temple. Oh, uh, yeah. Recording this. So we got a Skulltula here. And we're gonna kill it. First, we got arrows. We're gonna kill the Skulltula. Get the gold Skulltula token. Yeah, that's probably gonna scare someone, huh? Especially with that Home Alone 1 clip. Where Kevin McAllister puts that spider on one of the burglars. Especially Marv. So, here's another switch. We're about to go defeat the boss. We're gonna kick, uh... Kick the boss's ass in the forest temple. I think I actually, um, 
did this temple in about an hour. Nearly an hour and a half. I would have got it done quicker. About an hour. But... But still... So we're about to face none other than these pictures on the wall. The writing on the wall. It's the Headless Horseman. I like this room, by the way. But wait, who's that? Hey, it's Ganondorf. What's he doing here with his spiky-ass red hair? But wait. No. It's not him. It's Phantom Ganon, the evil spirit from beyond. It's Ganon's Phantom. So... So, what you want to do here... Is actually wait for one of the... There's going to be two of the fakes there. One's real, one's the fake, and I got lucky there. See, I actually got lucky in this fight. See, the real one actually appears there. Real Phantom Ganon. Flash is white. That's the real. That means he's the real thing. But if he's moving away, so that's the fake. Now we'll get on to the second phase. And I got so lucky in this fight. Got up close to him, though. Look at that. I actually pwned his ass. So, so yeah, I actually pwned him in this fight. How lucky did I get? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got him. I got you again, Ganon. I lost to a game of tennis. But I got hit. You keep laughing at you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man, how I'm getting so lucky at this fight. Oh, but I jinxed it. That was a instant karma. Oh man, we are doing so good. Yeah, that's right. Man, how lucky can you get? You know, I got so lucky and I got so lucky in this fight here. It's not even funny. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated my only phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I'll banish it to the gap between dimensions. And not only that, we got a heart container. Brings us to a total of 14 hearts. And we're done with the forest temple, y'all. You don't know how lucky I got with this uh, boss fight here. I got so lucky here. Next time on Ocarina of Time, we're gonna go see Saria and get the forest medallion. See ya!